For the Bengal tiger, life is precarious. Hunting is never easy with your prey constantly on high alert. And it's even harder when you have a growing family. Over the course of a day, one mother will do everything she can to find food for her three cubs. But nothing is a given in the jungle. Survival requires perseverance and luck. With the odds stacked against her, what hand can this mother play to win? Rana isn't the only tiger struggling to find enough to eat. Over the last century throughout India, tigers have lost vast numbers of their natural prey to human poaching. Together with significant habitat loss, both tigers and their prey are being squeezed into smaller and more fragmented pockets of jungle. With only two and a half thousand Bengal tigers left in the wild and their numbers still decreasing, tigers like Rana face an uncertain future. The afternoon is wearing on. Rana hasn't seen her cubs since morning. It's time to head back. But as she nears the water hole where she left the cubs, there's one last place to try. A clearing where animals have gathered to feed before night falls. It's not an easy place to hunt, but it's her last resort. In such large groups, the grazers are all much safer. from the langers with their vantage point in the trees. To the vigilant mothers protecting their fawns. There are hundreds of eyes here to spot potential danger. But they are only safe when they stick together. A foolish male sambar deer heads to the woods alone. It's today's last chance. She waits. The deer must come as close as possible. The ambush causes chaos. Alarm calls spread panic. Finally, Rana has her prize. At over 700 pounds, this Samba deer is a significant kill. The noise has alerted her cubs. They come to join her at the feast. In a single sitting, Rana alone can eat over 70 pounds of meat. But it's the cubs who will really prosper from the rich protein. Covered with tiny hooks, their tongues have a rough, rasping texture. These barbs work like a comb, scraping and tearing fur and flesh from the dead deer. 
once the meat is exposed, they can start to feed properly. While their three inch long canines are used to bite and kill their prey, it's the sharp carnassial teeth on the side of their jaw that they use to rip into the carcass and slice through chunks of meat. They'll continue to feed on the kill on and off for the next four days. With their limited sense of taste, a decaying carcass won't be a problem. They will happily eat rotting meat. As the last sibling finishes feeding for this sitting, Rana moves back in. She knows the leopard is still nearby, and with meat left on the carcass, she doesn't want to lose the rest of this meal. Scraping up dirt and twigs with her paws, she helps to conceal the sight and smell from potential scavengers. The family will stay nearby. Finally, well fed, they will rest and digest together. Bloody from feeding, they also need a bath. Grooming and hygiene is an important part of life these cubs must learn. Rana's rough tongue now gently cleans her cub's fur. Its small hooks detangling the hairs and removing dirt and parasites. Her saliva is mildly antiseptic and may help prevent infections. But licking is also a sign of affection and strengthens the bonds between mother and daughters. Rana's devotion to her cubs is tireless and she's doing all she can to provide for them. Her challenge now is to pass on her skills and experience as a hunter. In just over a year's time, these cubs will need to be equipped to survive alone. Her girls still have a lot to learn. But with such an experienced mother to guide them, the odds may just be on their side. Hey, Love Nature fans. Be sure to like and subscribe to catch all our wild animal stories. Get closer to nature right here on YouTube.